Hello everybody. Just wanted to provide you all with a quick update. I had such a nice outpouring of support from people in the community that support my channel that I've never even met in my life. Many kind words that they said as I deal with some family medical issues uh, revolving around my father-in-law. Anyway, I'm happy to report that uh, he did have a successful heart surgery. Uh, it was an emergency surgery, but the uh, first procedure was successful and he's scheduled for a second one uh, later this week. Uh, but he's recovering right now and everything's doing well. So I was actually able to go back home to Minot um, and try to get a few things caught up over the weekend and then uh, we'll be traveling back to be there to support him early this next week. So uh, as I'm in the car driving, I thought I would just give you all that update. And uh, I'm uh, you don't know I'm in the car though because I'm going to have some images on the screen overlaid here, maybe some silver and gold eye candy for you to look at. But anyway, um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the metals market. Even though I was out of the shop uh, the entire week this last week, um, I have been keeping in tune with what's going on. I've had a lot of conversations with my wholesaler, um, had several customers reach out and, and lock in some orders. And um, But uh, yeah, we talked about metals. You know, as I film this, which is Saturday, the... 14th of October, uh, yesterday on Friday, both gold and silver jumped, big jumps, and I'll uh, put that up on the screen here right now. Uh, why'd that happen? Well, I was watching uh, another video, Road to Ruta, that's a Bix Weir's channel. He gives a lot of insight on the manipulation side of the metals markets. Um, he uh, really digs in, does a lot of research, can kind of see the trends, and uh, he can real easily point out when those manipulations happen. Uh, but essentially he pointed out that uh, JP Morgan allowed the price to go up. Um, as you know, JP Morgan's one of the largest uh, global banks. Uh, they're also the largest uh, metal rigger. Uh, they manipulate the markets uh, with longs and shorts, um, making the price go up or down, whatever benefits them at the time. But they did let both gold and silver run up. Um, I didn't check this, but I'm going to check before I post this. I think probably the U.S. dollar index probably decreased. Uh, so metals, meaning uh, it weakened. Um, so of course metals priced in dollars then would show a higher price. So I think that had something to do with it. Uh, it's going to be really interesting what happens when the market opens overseas uh, Sunday night on the 15th of October. Um, but hopefully I'll get this video up before then. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, metals are real volatile right now. Uh, there was a great opportunity over the last couple of weeks to purchase gold and silver both at cheaper prices. So I'm hopeful that uh, those of you who had the means uh, were able to do so and to add to your stack on the cheap. Uh, I still think, uh, in the scheme of things, metals are low. Um, but yeah, there was better opportunity to purchase it cheaper for sure. Uh, on the premium side of things, premiums haven't changed much. Uh, my wholesale and retail costs on gold have remained steady. Um, really the only thing that has um, gotten cheaper is the cost of 90% silver on the wholesale market. Uh, I've done some videos on 90%, a couple of them. Um, and actually that's one of my best videos ever was my 90% silver video in terms of viewership anyway. Um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a better time to buy right now. Uh, right now I'm charging $3.25 over spot for 90% silver dimes and quarters. So how I calculate the price, um, it's current spot price, and I'll put that up on the screen right now, plus $3.25, that gets you a price per ounce. And then you take it times 0.715, because in $1 face value of 90% silver coinage, whether it be uh, four quarters, 10 dimes, two half dollars, any combination, you're gonna expect based on a little bit of wear to have about 0.715 ounces of silver. So that gets you the times face number and I'll pop that up on the screen here. As I said in the early part of the video, I'm driving and uh, I didn't uh, do the calculation ahead of time. So I'm just sitting here talking into my phone. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna have some images up on the screen so you don't uh, see the rolling prairies of North Dakota and my steering wheel as I'm driving. Um, but anyway, that's that's a good price. Uh, it's come down. My replacement cost has went down. Uh, unfortunately, for those that come into the shop and want to sell it, my buy pack 
back prices went down also. As wholesale costs decrease, um, that's great for the customer that's coming in to buy because I'm gonna sell it to you for less. But if you have to come in and sell, I'm gonna be willing to pay less for it because my wholesale replacement costs went down as well. So it's a kind of a, a two-sided coin there. Uh, but anyway, that's for dimes and quarters. Half dollars I do charge one time more face value. So I'll put that price on the screen here too. For half dollars, they'll be one times more per dollar face. And that's, as I said, just a reflection of wholesale. Wholesale costs me more, so it costs the consumer more. So uh, people ask me too, well, do you pay more for halves when people sell them back? I absolutely do. I'm going to pay more in terms of times face for half dollars versus dimes and quarters as they come into the shop. So yeah, 90% silver is cheaper uh, now than it's been. Honestly, I don't know why that is because, you know, they're not making any more. Um, and premiums on things like silver rounds uh, have went up. Um, I have to pay uh, about 15 cents more per ounce on silver rounds. Uh, so for easy numbers, I upped my retail price a quarter. So right now I'm charging spot plus 225 on silver rounds. Uh, Silver Eagles retail, unless you're going to buy a whole box that I can get a little better price on. Uh, Silver Eagles, you're going to pay spot plus six. And I have a whole bunch of government-issued type coinage, including Canadian Maple Leafs, uh, Noah's Arks um, from Armenia, uh, British Britannias. And while I talk about British Britannias, I actually have 2,024 British Britannias in stock. And here we are, it's October 14th, 2023. So Great Britain was really on the ball, uh, switching their dies over to 2024. Uh, but I do have some 2024s on hand. And then uh, also South African Krugerrands. And uh, there's a couple other countries as well. Uh, they would fall into that category of four and a half dollars over spot on the retail side. And then uh, I'm fortunate where I have a bunch of impaired silver sovereigns, meaning they might be scuffy, scratched, uh, fingerprinted, milk spotted, might have a rim ding. Uh, those are going to be three and a half dollars over spot, which is a great uh, price and a great chance to stock up on government issued silver at a cheaper rate. And then uh, I also got in 1,140 impaired American silver eagles. Uh, I've sold some uh, before I was out of the shop for a week, um, but I do have a whole bunch left at the shop. Uh, those are going to be spot plus four dollars for impaired American silver eagles. So, but yeah, we got a lot of uh, different silver bullion things on hand. As I said, um, most premiums have remained steady and that includes prices on like five and 10 ounce bars, kilo bars, 100 ounce bars. Uh, wholesale costs haven't really fluctuated much on those. It's just that 90% silver got a hair cheaper and one ounce silver rounds got a hair more expensive. So uh, we'll see what uh, comes in the coming weeks, but uh, if you're still looking to buy silver, I think it's a, in the scheme of things, still a good opportunity to buy. Uh, granted, you could have bought cheaper a couple weeks ago, uh, but it's always hard to time the peaks and valleys because as I tell people, you don't know where the high point was or the low point unless you're looking backwards. So sometimes we get lucky, uh, sometimes we get stung a little, and believe me, I've been on uh, both sides of that. So, But anyway, I appreciate you all tuning in. I hope to be back in the shop the following week, uh, which would be the week of October 23rd. At that point, I'm going to give everybody an update with a walkthrough. I did receive my Vault Box Series 4 coins, uh, and I'm going to try to do an unboxing on those tomorrow and uh, put that video up uh, hopefully right away uh, to show you all if I fared well or if I failed miserably. And if you've uh, followed the channel for a while, I have done an uh, unboxing. Um, I've bought all three. Uh, of the previous series, uh, Vault Box Series 1, 2, and 3, and I've come out behind on every series, so am I due to hit a big one? Maybe, but uh, it really is just luck. It's like buying a lottery ticket, but I enjoy it. It makes for good content for the channel, too, where people can share in my misery when I end up uh, losing money on the, on the Vault Box, but it's a fun program, and I'll continue to do it. I know a lot of people have said, oh, it's a scam. Well, it's only a scam if you expect that you're gonna get a you know expensive coin in every box and that's not guaranteed and that's said right up front it's really no different than uh, you know buying sports cards you know you might end up with a whole bunch that are worth next to nothing or you do have the chance to get a one of one that's worth 10 grand I mean it's like that so 
it's a it's a mystery pack and I love it so anyway watch for that video it's coming up soon but as I said in the beginning thank you all so much for the outpouring of support I'm happy to report that things are going better medically uh, with my father-in-law and uh, uh, we do have one more hurdle to cross with the surgery this upcoming week but uh, I'm uh, confident in his team of doctors and and have the have the faith that uh, he'll he'll come out and be stronger than ever so but appreciate your all support or everyone's support um, and uh, thanks for subscribing thanks for watching feel free to drop a comment give it a like uh, that does help get the videos into the algorithm I noticed that because I haven't put a video out for a few weeks uh, my subscriber count has dropped I think I lost five or six subscribers something like that but that's typical I mean honestly I mean, there's always people that subscribe and decide, oh, I don't like this, and they unsubscribe, or they delete their account. And so I'm not too worried about it, but um, as I said, I uh, hope to be putting out more content here in the coming days, and I'll try to get some stuff filmed, too, that I can release this next week, even though I'll be out of town again. But thank you, everyone, for your support. Appreciate you all. Have a great day.